Hey, good Thursday morning, everybody. Hopefully uh, yesterday went well for you. Uh, a little rain last night. Actually, I was instead I had a little snow too last night as well. So our gospel today is from John chapter 6, verses 44 through 51. Uh, so Jesus continuing his bread of life, talk to the people. And, uh, and uh, two things that get me in this, and uh, said, I guess, is the first thing you notice that Jesus in this part is that he says it's initiated by the Father. The Father is calling us into relationship with him. So, and he sends the Son to us so that we can have that relationship with him, which is awesome. So it begins with God. Does it begin with me? Humility does it begin with any of you, any of us. It begins with the Father wanting us. So that keep us humble. Okay. I live in hope anyway. But the other part of this, which has been a challenge for me, and where we grow, is we read Jesus says, you know, you got to eat the bread of life, meaning him, this person, and who he is, and to have the eternal life, to have the fullness of life. You know, and we can, I think the challenge for me at work, grown, and I see this, I think a little bit too much in other people, is this tendency to just do the minimal, meaning, oh, I'll just go to communion, if I go to church, I get in heaven. That's not what Jesus means in this. Uh, it's not just about following the basic rules and regulations. That's not what Jesus says. And in fact, the Pope in his latest exhortation talked about that in his Neopelagianism, meaning if we just do, we control our own destiny, we control our own salvation. If we just do, that's not what it is. But Jesus is challenging us when he says, eat the bread of life. Eat, and I can, I'm, I'm not trying to be preachy, but I'm going where I'm going, is that... You know, when we eat, this means taking it in and making it part of our person. Is that this is about in the, the in transformation of the entire person. It's about taking this in, making part of our, our very being, who we are. It's about all that Jesus is. It's about the compassion and the mercy, the forgiveness. All those qualities, virtues of Jesus. It's living those out. And as we have those in, in our lives, in my life, and I get the fullness of life or eternal life, however you want to translate that. And where it made the difference because my faith deepened once I was challenged to actually live what really it means to be a Catholic. You know, going through the motions, going to Mass on Sunday, going to confession every so often, putting five bucks in the collection plate, you know, fasting on the appropriate days. Not that those are bad, but that's not enough is when I had to practice actually forgiving people, being compassionate, being merciful, and accepting that from others, which I still struggle with, is that's when I, I really started to grow in my faith. So I think that's the challenge. Are we just kind of, are we just nibbling on Jesus, or are we truly eating the bread of life? I think that's our challenge. Okay, so it's Thursday, it means today is my Friday. I get my hair cut. Yay, tomorrow. Uh, and then next week, I am gone. I will be up in, I will be in Chicago for some conferences. So uh, I'll see you the week after next. Okay, take care, guys. Bye-bye.